Hello, today I'm going to teach you how to download and properly set up a EPSXE emulator. In order to do that, you need to go to EPSXE.net and download the most recent emulator that they have available. Uh, EPSXE is by far the best and easiest emulator to use and easiest one to set up, but you also need to uh, be able to download the uh, PlayStation BIOS. So to do that, you got to Google search it type in EPSXE BIOS and go to the very first uh, very first website that pops up this this has like a how to set up but <clears throat> how to set up the emulator and everything but it also includes the uh, basic um, the basic uh, bin or the basic BIOS and the plugin that you need in order to run the system or the emulator at least so you just click on BIOS and plugins downloads. You go down and you download the Pete's plugin and the US one. So after you unzip everything and you're going to get a folder for the EPSXE, you put the BIOS and the plugins into that folder. Now you want to put SCHP1001.bin into the BIOS. And the rest for the plugins you want to put in the plugins, obviously. Now you start up EPSXE. Give it a second. There we go. Now you go up to config. And after you go to config, you can uh, use the setup wizard, which is pretty much you don't have to do much, it does everything for you. But when you do, you want SCHP.1001 as your BIOS. You just keep clicking next, and then when you get to the very end, you get the uh, controller tutorial and, or the controller setup, and you should be fine. Now, with EPSXE, the, the people will cons have mentioned that you want to have to set up, um, you have to mount ISOs in order to run. That's not true. You just have to extract the RAR file, and you uh, run the emulator as normal. Here I'm uh, running.